NASA released an epic interview with astronaut Jeff Williams. They named the video, Science and Engineering are out of this world. And they are right. Do you want to see the interview? Are you ready? I'm ready for the event. USA Science and Engineering Festival, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Oh, Jeff, before we start, Hello, don't forget about the delay. Control. This is the USA Science and Engineering Festival. You're loud and clear. Very good. And I've got you loud and clear as well. All right. <laughs> hey, Jeff, we see you floating up there right now, waving to the crowd. Yes. Oh. All right. So, Jeff. Where are you right at this moment? Where's the space station? We're just heading up over the Atlantic uh, toward Europe. We just passed uh, south of the Bahamas prior uh, to that, right over the Panama Canal. I was out trying to get a picture of the Panama Canal, but as usual, it, uh, it was uh, pretty cloudy. But the Bahamas look beautiful as always. Okay, all right. So we. We got a little bit of misinformation. We thought that you had been there about 10 or 15 minutes ago and that you were further along. Is that possible? Um, are you confused? Did you just lie about your location? Or was it just a mistake? Uh, well, we crossed Panama about uh, 10 minutes ago, yes. And now we're heading over the Atlantic Ocean toward Europe. Got it. All right. Ask him an easy That's question. Great. And you're traveling, what, 17,500 miles an hour? That's right. 17,500 miles an hour, 90 minutes around the Earth, 16 times a day we go around the Earth. What does it feel like? Okay, now you, you, there's a delay in the communication, okay. so... Already yeah, you almost screwed up, Jeff. Don't forget about the delay, please. Cree and Madison? And they're going to take over the questions. And so I'm, I'm letting them know there's a little bit of a delay. So we'll pause after we, uh, after we speak. So first question. What do you miss most about Earth? Why do they always ask the exact same questions? Oh, of course, uh, what I miss the most is my family, uh, being away from my wife and my kids and my daughters-in-law and my grandkids. That's what I miss the most. All right, next question. What have you been working on today? That's a better question. Today was mostly a day off. However, I have been working on an experiment where we're studying the, the uh, effects of weightlessness on, uh, it's a biology experiment, growing nematodes uh, and putting them under an experiment. It's a Japanese experiment, so I've been working with the SCUBA uh, Space Center in Japan uh, today and over the last several days, actually. The SCUBA Space awesome. Center? to hang out on the space station. Oh, I know this one. They always say the cupola. Oh, that's easy. My favorite place to hang out is in the cupola. I call it the window on the world. It's got seven windows. where It's the only place on the space station where we can see the entire globe of the Earth. So it's a fantastic place to hang out. They can see the entire globe from the space station? Does he have any idea about the altitude of the ISS? Or maybe he's on another space station? Does NASA have another space station? Let me know in the comments. That's awesome. So today is your day off, so what do you like to do for fun when you're not conducting such important experiments? Oh, I know this one also. It's always the same questions and the same answers. He will say that he goes to the cupola in his free time to take pictures of the beautiful Earth. Well, uh, the cupola being my favorite place to hang out, I usually go there with a camera. And it's a camera with a big lens like this. So I love to take pictures of the Earth. Uh, the Earth is a, is a beautiful place, a never-ending variety of uh, weather systems, of landforms, of ocean currents, of uh, uh, light conditions. Uh, so it's a great place to take pictures of, and I, I do that a lot in my free time. Okay, what's your favorite food to eat in space? Jeff, you're screwing up with the delay again. You can't smile 
before the end of the delay. Okay, what's your favorite food to eat in space? Well, I've got lots of favorites up here. I like a lot of different kinds of foods, just like I like on Earth. Of course, we don't get fresh food very often, but we did last week get some fresh fruits and vegetables. And uh, when you haven't had those uh, for a while, those become your favorite, or at least among your favorite things. See, you all think that our food is floating because it is in space, but it has nothing to do with space. This video proves it, man. This guy has a tree with space apples, and as you can see it is floating even on earth. I bet NASA is buying their apples from this guy. What is the most amazing thing that you've seen in space? That's a good question. Oh man, there's a long list of amazing things I've seen in space. I talked about that volcano uh, before. I've seen uh, some amazing uh, views of the Bahamas, the reefs. I've seen amazing That's panoramas of mountain ranges uh, on the horizon or oblique it's also angles. also not in or, space. Or uh, seeing places that I live or have lived in the past are, are always emotionally very good because you, uh, exciting to see that. Uh, we saw a rocket launch a couple weeks ago. We saw a rocket launching through space. It was at, it was at night, uh, and it was the Progress launching to deliver us cargo. And we saw it way up uh, above the atmosphere, all the way till the main engine cut off. That was an amazing event just recently. Wow, that's, that's awesome. great. Okay, well, Jeff, we have a huge festival here, and. They, they scoured the entire festival for one student, one special student. So come up here while, while we're talking about the one special student has a question for you and enter the stage. Come on up. All right. Woo! Woo! And, and, and yeah. what's your name? What's your name? My name is Rachel. Okay, Rachel, nice to meet you from around here. I'm from Maryland. Okay, oh. very good. Well, this is Jeff Williams. He's live on the space station, so ask your question. Um, what effect does gravity have on your brain when you're weightless? Oh, that's a new question. I think I know the answer. If you believe in gravity, it makes you stupid. Uh, good question, Rachel. The, the, uh, being up here does have if impacts on your body. Uh, on your brain, I'm not sure, other than I would say that um, you have to concentrate a little bit more up here than you do on the ground. We have a couple of theories that um, uh, that maybe support that. Our CO2 levels are a little bit higher than they are uh, on the planet, and we think that that has something uh, to do with it. It's sort of a fullness in the head, uh, but that's that's how I would. I don't know if it, you know what the effect it has on the brain per se, but it does have an effect that you subjectively feel. Of course, we have other effects. Our muscles and our bones can atrophy, so we exercise every day to to prevent that so that we can be prepared to come back to Earth and uh, fight the forces of gravity again. Okay, well, thank you very much, Rachel. Let's hear an applause for Rachel. Woo! All right, thank you. Thanks. All right, Jeff, and to close this all off, we have about four more minutes, and I'm gonna give you uh, about a minute to, to give final thoughts here in a few, few minutes, but social media has been buzzing, yes. and we have Thousands of questions that have came, ha have bubbled up, but, um, but a couple ones are a common themes. And so one of them is, what do you miss most from the Earth? You've been up there, what, 28 days or so? What do you miss most, this mission or maybe other missions? We already had that question. Uh, well, of course, like I said before, uh, or I alluded to it before, one of the things you miss most, of course, is your family. Your family, uh, are they're on the ground. They're waiting for you. We're busy up here. We're busy every day. Um, but they're, you know, and they worry about us a little bit for obvious reasons. This is not a, um, it has some risk uh, being up here. Um, and, and it's like all of us. We all love relationships. So um, family is what I miss the most. Okay, and I, and I was the same. And I guess... You ladies asked a form of that question already, but it sounds like the whole world wants to ask you that same question. Okay, here's number two. What plants would you, would you like to grow in space? Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, good question. Well, there's two categories. I would say that one uh, would be a category of plants that are just pleasant to have around. Uh, you know, like we have house plants or whatnot. Of course, flowering plants would be great to have up here just to, to uh, spice up the place a little bit. And the other category of plant that I would love to grow up here are plants that you can eat uh, because it would be fresh food, fresh vegetables or fruit. And uh, of course, that's one of the things that we don't get very often up here. Wow. Okay, and I see there's another repeat question. So here's the next one. Are there any drones used in space, and they might be talking about satellites too. So can you talk about just unmanned things that move around in space, either on the space station or off the space station? Now that's a good question. Tell us about all the satellites up there. You're right next to the satellites. The International Space Station is supposed to be in low Earth orbit, that's where the satellites are, or most of them. And there are supposed to be thousands of satellites. I see pictures like this and I see satellites everywhere. So tell us about all the satellites up there. How does it look when they fly by? It's an awesome question, man. Well, we have an experiment called Spheres where we have these uh, volleyball sized um, objects and uh, they can be programmed to fly around inside the space station. It's an experiment. We're not using it operationally, so we do have those on board. They've been here on board for many years. Uh, I've executed that experiment all the way back to 2006. Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about those spheres that you are using for many years already? Why do you keep talking about the same experiment over and over again? Can't you tell us something new, something we don't know? All we can see is two or three spheres that are not even spheres floating around or astronauts throwing stuff at them in front of a blue screen which makes no sense I want to know about all those satellites that float by outside of the space station why can't you make a picture or a video from a satellite that floats in front of the space station maybe do it on the live stream come on NASA, sometimes I really wonder if you're joking or if you're serious. Are you like, a tr are you, are you trolling us? Is NASA trolling us? Of course, there are many other satellites in orbit around the Earth in different orbits. We don't use them directly. We do use uh, some of them for communication systems, but we don't see them. Uh, we try to uh, um, uh, avoid, actually objects in space that might uh, come close to uh, colliding with the space station. That's one of the things we worry about and occasionally we have to uh, change the orbit of the space station just to avoid that. But in general we don't uh, we don't see or have direct contact with other satellites in Earth orbit. Okay and, and uh, you all were involved in an hour of code right? Yes. Uh, for the, and there are kids that actually code these spheres that Jeff has, has yeah, reference. Exactly. They code from the ground and they have a competition up in space. That's really cool. Okay, Jeff. And now they tell us that kids program these spheres from the ground? And Jeff looks like he never knew. I mean, look at his face. This is weird stuff, man. I think they are really trolling us. We only have like 90 seconds left. I'd like to give you about a minute to share anything that we didn't share, share just yet today. So what do you want to tell all the parents, the teachers, and the kids here at SciFest? Well, I just want to applaud your efforts and applaud the, the, uh, what you're doing there. You're all coming together to get energized, to, uh, to inspire the young people, to inspire, of course, teachers and educators uh, who work day to day um, uh, uh, transmitting uh, knowledge and the ability to learn, uh, teaching uh, young people how to learn, how to study um, uh, for their future. And of course your focus is on science, engineering, technology, uh, which is great. Uh, we need that in the world. Uh, the world has, uh, uh, civilizations have developed throughout history uh, because of that. Uh, we need good, uh, talented people on this program and other programs related to space exploration and other scientific endeavors on the ground, so I applaud your efforts. I, I encourage you to continue down that path. 
uh, find the opportunities that uh, that you get and and take advantage of them and, and, and work hard and make a contribution. We believe that uh, contributions made in science, engineering, and technology are, are contributions that don't just uh, benefit the individual but benefit mankind and it's always better if we can find a way uh, to serve our, our fellow uh, human beings. For you educators out there I will say my father was a school teacher he was highly respected I still get feedback all the time from his former students through the 60s and, and 70s and 80s uh, he invested in people's lives his whole life so I want to uh, thank you and express my gratitude for your dedication and your willingness to dedicate um, uh, to invest in, in the lives of, of young people. Have fun there in the festival as well uh, and uh, make new friends um, and friendships I hope will continue through your lifetimes. Woo! Well, Jeff, Woo! Jeff, they're clapping for you here. This is awesome. Thank you I know you you're so busy much. up there. I know you're working hard <laughs> and you took time out of your busy day. On behalf of the entire festival, we want to thank you and your crew for a successful mission and a safe return home. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all. Bye now. In the meantime at NASA.